each Lent we take a new opportunity to refocus our lives on Christ, refocus ourselves on Christ himself and what he calls us to. And one of the essential tools of our Lenten efforts is fasting. But the Church Fathers remind us that we must have both an inward and an outward fasting. Our fasting and our restriction of what food we eat comes to nothing if we don't have this inner fasting too. Fasting of the soul. St. Gregory Palamas says it's possible to, to give up all the Lenten uh, requirements, give up all meats and fish and dairy products, but still be a glutton and a drunkard, a drunkard of the soul. If we allow the soul to focus on imagined or real hurts, the wrongs done to us, if we imagine all those people who've wronged us and allow anger and hatred to fester within us, then we can have a drunkenness of the soul. We must have a fast that is inward too. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, Jesus talks about hiding our fasting from the world. Let it be seen only by God alone. He says, anoint your head with oil. Keep yourself in good shape. The Church Fathers remind us, yes, this anointing of the head with oil is a reminder to hide our fasting from the world. But also, it symbolizes this blessing of the mind, the giving of the thoughts, this reclaiming this re-establishing control over what it is that goes on within us. This is the inner fasting of Lent. We need to guard ourselves about what we read, what we watch, what we hear and what we speak. The soul must be purified. Fasting is about penitence and purification. It is one of the tools that God has given us to enable us to purify ourselves inwardly. There is no division between the physical and the spiritual. We are one, a whole person. Our physical fasting is necessary, but in and of itself, it isn't enough. Let us remember the demons. The demons eat nothing, and yet they are full of evil. So let us take this Lent 40 days to re-establish our lives, to refocus ourselves on Christ and to return like the prodigal, walk away from the sties of the pigs, our lives of sin and return to our loving Father.